Hello, my name is Hisham al Shire. I'm a medical doctor and a biomedical engineer based in Toronto, Canada. The story of this project started five years ago during the peak of the Syrian war. I felt helpless and disappointed until one day I received a call from a friend of mine, a Canadian humanitarian Syrian surgeon. And he said, Hisham, you're a medical doctor and, a, and an engineer, and I've never seen anything like these ones in my life. Huge ones, difficult to close, patients die, let alone amputation and infection. In Canada, he said, we use something called negative pressure wound therapy like this device, which basically creates suction at the, at, the, at, the, at the level of the wound. This suction or negative pressure draws blood to the wound, which accelerates wound healing and cell growth dramatically. But the cost is prohibitive to use in Syria, let alone the, the huge number of casualties and the lack of electricity. So I embarked on a technical journey, which ended up in creating this little very simple gizmo or contraption. It basically draws fluid from the wound side at the direction of this arrow and expels it from this direction. This mechanism creates a negative pressure of minus, about minus 100 millimeters of mercury, which is exactly what we need for the therapy. In no time, surgeons started to use it in Syria. This, very, this is one of the very first wounds here. As you can see, it totally closed in only two weeks and then healed, all assembled and used by local people. The snowball grew bigger, it was used in nine hospitals, and on average, the time to close the wound shrank from two months to two weeks, which was unprecedented. But Syria is not the only place. I lost my own uncle in an affluent Middle Eastern country because of an open diabetic foot wound, and it's time to scale up and reach more localities thanks to, to the Humanitarian Grand Challenge funding. We now have a, a very competent team, starting with our Chief Medical Officer, Engineer, and myself with two decades of medtech development, and a board of advisors who all led and exited multinational companies. Today, we're looking for pioneers to adopt the technology and make a change in their wound care in their organizations. And we're also looking for investment. We are a social enterprise, and we would like to to, to raise funding to revamp the design of the device, ramp up the production, and reach more localities. Not only will you get a return on investment, but will also make the life of many people better. Thank you.